never seen a building like that. It looks like some kind of temple. This is a statue of Ariel. But it's using the older signs of his power. This temple must be ancient. The bow has to be in here.
I'm bored out of my Did you really come here expecting to claim Ariel's bow? You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? Which, I'm sorry to say, means your usefulness is at an end! Impressive display, but a wasted effort. You delay nothing but your own deaths. Watch out! Pulling down the ceiling! up there on the balcony. Come on.
Enough, Further. Give us the bow. How dare you? I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I had the ears of a god. Until the betrayed corrupted you. Yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelabor and his kind are easily manipulated fools. Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You... You're a vampire? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost. You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire? Ariel's bow? It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. You were waiting all this time for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. Stone and Rope! So the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Werther must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. What? What are you talking about? A vampire. I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you've restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain some hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. It's... not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. I think we both know. It's time to face my father. If we don't, he'll keep chasing us for the rest of our lives. I've been thinking about this for a long time. It's... It's not easy. But I don't think we have much of a choice. No. This has to end here and now. If we head back to the castle and kick the front door in, we're gonna be knee-deep in his friends. Let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first. I'm betting he'll lend us a sword or two. It's good to speak to you again. I trust you're faring well. I feel nothing but sympathy for the betrayed, despite my actions against them. But I'm afraid that they're well beyond a cure at this point. The twisted forms you've seen didn't occur overnight. It isn't a plague or a disease that ravaged our species. The dwarves may have stolen their sight, but it took many generations for them to become what they are today. 
Perhaps they'll never return to their former appearance. But over the centuries, I've noticed a rise in their intellect. If a line of communication could be established with them, maybe they can find peace. It's the only way they'll discover that they weren't always malignant. They were once a proud and prosperous race. <clears throat> While it would fill me with joy to see the Chantry back to its former glory, that time has long since passed. Now that my brother's dead, it's quite possible I'm the last of our kind. There's no need for that kind of talk. I said it was possible. It's also quite possible that there are some other isolated conclaves of Snow Elves nestled elsewhere on Earth. I'll also assume Bertha didn't exactly give you the option to stay your hand. For the time being, I will remain here on the Overlook and continue trying to keep the Sanctum free of the betrayed. You're always welcome to return here at any time, of course. The bow was said to be carried by Oriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel and possibly beyond. The bow draws its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect, causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. The sunbursts would certainly hurt anything, but is especially devastating to the undead. Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's, of course, if you're foolish enough to try it. I can actually assist you in that regard. If you were to bring me some good quality elven arrows, I could imbue them with the proper incantations and rituals. Absolutely. I can only do 20 at a time. So if you want the rest of your arrows blessed, let me know. Absolutely. I can only do 20 at a time. Certainly. I can only do... Tw I'm afraid I'll need elven arrows if you want me to produce the sun-hallowed arrows. And it seems you're all out of them at the moment. You're always welcome to return here at any time, of course. The bow. You have Oriel's bow. I've heard it described. <clears throat> but I could never have imagined. <laughs> Arkay has been watching over me for years now. He says he's not too sure about the bow. You have Oriel's bow. I heard it described in tales, but I could never have imagined its beauty. Indeed, the day hasn't been won while Harkon still walks Tamriel. But what of Serana? Can she be trusted to lift a blade against her own kind, her own family? I suppose that's as much as I can hope for. Let me address the Dawn Guard and then we'll be off. The men deserve to know that we finally gained the upper hand. Everyone, gather round. Come on then, we haven't got all day. For too long, we've allowed these vampires to poison the night and kill our people. Now, we finally have the means to strike back. We now have Ariel's bow. The gods themselves have favored us, and we must answer with action. The time has come to finally put an end to Harkon and his unholy prophecy. We will march on their lair and destroy those wretched abominations so they can no longer corrupt our world. This is our fight, and this is our fate. This is the time of the Dawn Guard! Abominations! This is it! Between the eyes for me! It's time we take the fight to their door. 
Gather your things and rest well, my friend. We meet outside Castle Volgahar. Watch your back. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. Serana, my darling. I see you still favor keeping a pet. You know why we're here. Of course I do. You disappoint me, Serana. You've taken everything I provided for you and thrown it all away for this pathetic being. Provided for me? Are you insane? You've destroyed our family. You've killed other vampires all over some prophecy that we barely understand no more i'm done with you you will not touch him so i see this dragon has fangs your voice drips with the venom of your mother's influence how alike you've become no because unlike her i'm not afraid of you not anymore and you it appears I have you to thank for turning my daughter against me. I knew it was only a matter of time before she'd return with hatred in her heart. 
a small price to pay for the betterment of our kind. Yes, yes, always the noble vampire hunter. And what happens when you've slain me? Is Valerica next? Is Serana? Then my daughter is truly lost. She died the moment she accepted a mortal into her life. Yes, quite. I'm growing weary of speaking to you and my traitorous daughter. I'll give you a single chance to turn over the bow to me. There will not be a second. Very well, then. You leave me no choice. It's over. He's dead. And the prophecy dies with him. I... I suppose this is difficult for you. I think my father really died a long time ago. Means Mr. Just... Krell was drunk. To the end of something else. I did what needed to be done. Nothing more. I think perhaps... <clears throat> I think you did more than that. You have my thanks. So... 
the beast is destroyed. Not only that, but Ariel's bow is in safe hands. The Dawn Guard will now be dedicated to safeguarding it, making sure that prophecy will never come to pass. You serve Skyrim well. Even with these vampires gone, the fight isn't completely over. Once we're settled back in at the fort, there will be more work to do. We'd be honored to have you join us. Well, now that's done. I'm not sure. I'll probably stay with the Dawn Guard for as long as they'll let me. They're respectable fighters, and I think they see the benefits of having a vampire on their side now. Of course, if you've got any more adventures planned, that's what I wanted to hear. I'm ready if you are. <laughs>